All right, people. Good morning, namaskar, and welcome back to the channel Warner Steel. Today is day three in Punjab, and uh, we are going to check out from this property and uh, later head towards uh, North Goa. Right now, the time is about uh, seven o'clock, and uh, we are going out for uh, Simba's morning walk. Uh, there is a jetty nearby, so let's go. So right now we are in a place called Dona Pola Jetty. I have a lot of memories attached with this place. Uh, like back in 20 years, for, we stayed in this place for about uh, one month and uh, practiced sailing. After completion of uh, practicing, we we started our ocean sailing expedition uh, from this location. The ocean sailing expedition was uh, for about uh, for about 12 days, and uh, the journey was from Goa to Batkara. Flag off was done right at this place. So we are back from the jetty but uh, we didn't walk to the end of the jetty because there were a lot of stray dogs and they were pouncing on uh, Simba. So we are back to the resort and uh, we had our breakfast at this resort. Right now, 8 o'clock. Uh, 10 o'clock is our checkout time. Uh, we'll check out uh, from this property and uh, we will head towards North Goa. So, let's go. Time is 10:15, uh, and uh, we have checked out uh, from the property and uh, heading towards uh, North Goa. Uh, but before uh, heading towards North Goa, we will uh, visit the Rai's fort. Uh, hope I am pronouncing it right. Uh, not sure though. Uh, anyways, I will mention the fort name here. And uh, uh, well, the fort is about uh, 14 kilometers from uh, Panaji, uh, which will take about 30 minutes of drive. So let's go. Goa is one of the leading beach and nightlife tourism destinations in the country. Along with Sikkim, it is one of the two Indian states to promote legalized casinos. The coastal state has five offshore and around 10 onshore casinos, which attract hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. So we had a good stay in Panjim and now um, it's time to say goodbye to Panjim uh, to explore other places in Goa. But we definitely want to come back to Panjim on another day. So we have now reached the fort, you need to climb about 15 minutes and uh, later you will reach the fort. Uh, the entry fee is uh, 25 rupees per head and the uh, camera fees is uh, 250 per camera. Upon entering the fort, I could see a small nozzle at the entry gates from which the hot oil was poured on trespassers. Well, this fort is in a village located on the northern bank of the Mandavi River in Bardes, Goa, opposite to the capital city of Punjab. Uh, 
built in 1551 by Portuguese. Uh, this fort was used as a prison. Upon uh, entering the fort, one can still see those tiny cells where uh, uh, prisoners of war uh, were kept. Um, later, this fort was used to, uh, you know, prison the freedom fighters, basically the liberals who were fighting for uh, Govan freedom. There are three halls in this fort. In one of the hall, there are art galleries on the life in Goa and also the freedom struggle for Goan liberation from the Portuguese colonial rule. Well, in the next hall, we could see the exhibition of Mario Miranda caricatures and it was just mesmerizing um, to see all of these caricatures. fort is built in the 14th century and was used as a defense check post in the beginning. This fort prison tells many stories by its strong structure, especially stone bricks, cannons, windows, doors for model and photo galleries. The cannon is placed in the upper deck are quite fascinating. <laughs> the view of the Mandavi river from the fort entrance is just gorgeous. This view is so refreshing that all the tiredness just disappears in no time. So we are uh, so we are back from the port. It, it uh, takes about one hour to visit. It's a must visit point. So now it's time uh, 12.30 and uh, we are uh, going to check in at uh, a resort in Candolium which is in North Goa. I think it's the fault of Mr. Aita. Oh, it was amazing. Hey Gala, how they have planned good. Amal though Portuguese used it for war prisoners. Goa liberation time only they have changed this to be freedom fighters. Our mm. uh, they they used mm. to present them here. There are a lot of pictures a lot. Uh, and uh, full uh, they could have a beach view in the prison cell actually, <laughs> except for uh, VIP cell. Uh, the VIP cell. Samudra Northa But I think overall it's good. So we have checked in at a resort called Whispering Farms at uh, the Candolium Beach Road. So we will wind up this episode here and uh, more from Goa in our next vlog. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel and if you enjoyed watching this video do hit the like button and share the video with your family and friends and uh, let's go.